next guest is the co-host of The Eric Andre Show on Adult Swim and a comedian whose stand-up special, Hannibal Burris, Animal Furnace, premieres on Comedy Central this Sunday at 11 p.m. Please welcome the very funny Hannibal Burris. <laughs> Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, I lost, I lost my iPad on a plane. That's a modern tragedy. Uh, I liked the iPad. My favorite feature was reading books on the iPad because nobody knows what you're reading. I like that privacy. I don't want to know. I don't want people knowing all the stuff I'm reading. I was in the airport bookstore and I saw this book. The title was O.J. Simpson is Innocent and I Can Prove It. I said, that's interesting, but I'm not buying that book in public. <laughs> that's definitely a download right there. <laughs> what type of phone you have? You, yeah. You got Android. Most, most people got Androids and iPhones or Blackberry. I get weirded out when I see people with a flip phone. Like, Yo, that's not your real phone, right? You're just going to use that phone to make one call to get somebody murdered, then you're throwing that in the ocean, right? <laughs> that's not your real phone. You're going to order 100 kilos of con cocaine, you're going to stomp that phone and eat the SIM card. That's not your real, that's not your real phone. Uh, sometimes when I, uh, whenever I eat at a restaurant, I never put the napkin in my lap. I never put the napkin in my lap and people say, Hannibal, why don't you put the napkin in your lap? Because I believe in myself. <laughs> I believe in my ability to not spill food in my pants because I'm an adult and I've mastered the art of getting food from my plate to my mouth without soiling my jeans. You need to believe in yourself too and get your life together. That's for babies. <laughs> believe in yourself. And have confidence. Believe in yourself like one of those weird clothing stores that only have like six shirts in them. So many questions. How much do these shirts cost? How long have y'all been here? Why is there a DJ? Why is there a DJ but horrible customer service? Hey man, can I check out these shirts? Man, I'm spinning right now. I don't care about shirts. I went to this one restaurant. I wanted to order the swordfish, but the swordfish was market price. And I don't know anything about the swordfish market. <laughs> so this kind of puts me in a spot, because I don't know whether it's classy to say to the server, hey, what's the swordfish market looking like today? Because I don't want to destroy my life because of this. Hey, yo, I heard Hannibal's living on the streets now. What happened? That damn swordfish market. <laughs> he kept ordering the swordfish. Who knew the swordfish market fluctuated so much? <laughs> It was 5,000 every time. I don't know why he didn't try the salmon. The salmon mark is very static. <laughs> I really get into a lot of TV shows. I really get overly into TV. Like, I watched this show, Homeland. I watched nine episodes of Homeland. I got home one night. I wanted to watch the final three episodes, but I was kind of drunk and nodding out. And I was thinking, man, if I had some cocaine, I could knock out these last three episodes. <laughs> And I think that's the mark of a great show. <laughs> if you're willing to pick up a new habit instead of just going to sleep for a few hours. <laughs> like, no, I need to know what these fictional characters are up to now. <laughs> I went to see this play. I went to see a play in New York called Sleep No More. And it's not a regular play where you sit in the audience and watch people perform on a stage. It's in this five-story building and Actresses, they just pop into any room and start doing a scene and they leave that room and go and meet up with actors in another part of the building. And it's, I guess they said it was loosely based on Macbeth, but I don't know anything about Macbeth. So the whole experience for me was just getting drunk and chasing actors around. <laughs> hey, what's going on over here? I don't understand any of this. What does this dance mean? But it was a fun time and I was in this office set by myself all alone and I farted in that room. <laughs> But then two actors came into that room to do a scene, and they acted into my fart cloud. <laughs> and I could see that it was bothering them, but they had to stay in the scene and power through. And you know what? I was just happy to be a part of the process. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all. Hey. 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 That was very funny. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Burris, everybody. Yeah.